Welcome back to Miss Teacher Tube with Janice Leong. Today we're going to be exploring patterns. We're going to start out by looking at a variety of different patterns that are growing, shrinking, and then we're going to revisit what repeating patterns are. First of all, let's take a look at a growing pattern. The very first pattern I have for you on the top is a growing pattern. We can see that two, four, six, eight, the number is getting larger and larger in size, therefore it is growing. So our gap is going to be plus two. The gap is the space between the numbers. It tells us what's going on from one number to another number. And as soon as you know the gap, you can figure out what's going on with your pattern. You can add to a pattern, you can take away from a pattern, because you really know what to do once you know what the gap is. So here, it's plus two each time, and that's how we're getting our additional number for the growing pattern. For the next one we're looking at, the shrinking pattern is something is shrinking, it's getting smaller. So for a shrinking pattern, this one is 50, 40, 30, 20. And you can see I put in my gap minus 10 because it's getting 10 smaller each time I'm moving to a new number. Then there are repeating patterns. Now repeating patterns we dealt a lot with uh, earlier in the year and last year in grade one. So repeating patterns would be like an AB pattern. So if it's in a number instead of a letter, it'd be like, 5, 10, 5, 10, 5, 10, but you have that same thing repeating over and over again, and that's an A, B pattern. So we're going to be looking at these patterns in greater detail. I've got some work coming up for you. Have some fun with it, and I'll see you soon. So the first pattern we're going to look at are these blocks. You'll notice from the first column onward, the pattern is increasing by one block each time. So first we have one, then two, then three, then four. This will make a gap of plus one because it's increasing by one each time. Let's take a look at a second pattern. This one is larger. You'll notice we're starting with two blocks, then four, then six, then eight. So this will be a gap of plus two each time a new column is added. So these are both examples of increasing or growing patterns. Now we're going to look at decreasing or shrinking patterns. With this pattern, you're going to start with a larger number and the number will get smaller as you go forward in the pattern. For this example, we're starting out with eight blocks, then six, then four, then two. So this will give a gap of minus two. So each time we move to the new number, we're subtracting two to get the next column. So again, this is a decreasing pattern where we're subtracting two each time. Welcome back. So now we're ready for some more challenging problems. So now I've mixed doing math equations with figuring out what the pattern is 
after you find the answers to the math equations. So I'm going to model this first one for you. Some will be growing patterns, some will be shrinking patterns, and some will be repeating patterns. So first step is to figure out what the answers are and then to find the gap between each of them. So for these, 2 plus 2 is 4, 3 plus 3 is 6, 4 plus 4 is 8, 5 plus 5 is 10, and 6 plus 6 is 12. Once you have your answers, now you have to look at them and figure out what is the gap. So here, the gap between 4 and 6 is plus 2. So 4, 5, 6, there's 2 in between them, so that's my gap. The gap here, 6, 7, 8, plus 2. 8, 9, 10, plus 2. And then 10, 11, 12, plus 2. So my gap is plus 2. So what I'd like you to do is work on the problems that are coming up, solve the math equations first, and then really stare at the answers and try to figure out what the gap is to figure out what the pattern is. If it's growing or shrinking and label it. Obviously this one is growing because the number is getting bigger. Have fun with them. We'll talk to you soon. Well, we certainly have learned a lot about growing and shrinking patterns today. The next thing we're going to be learning about on the next video with me is learning to represent the same pattern in many different ways. That's all I've got for you today. We'll see you next time on Miss Teacher Tube.